And now it's time for Silly Songs with Laddie, the part of the show where Laddie comes out and sings a silly song. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Laddie the Cucumber presents in a sequential image stereophonic multimedia event, the Song of the Sabu. about a boy. A song about a little boy and his taboos. A song about a little boy and his three taboos. The little boy who had a sick taboo, a sad taboo, and a mute taboo. And also a hippo. Um, um, this is me at the airport. This is my Aunt Ruth. This is me at a bullfight. This is me fighting a bull. <laughs> this is me and the bull. Ah. This is me and the bull, and I think that's the bull's cousin. He's a sabu. Hold it! You call this a multimedia event? This is a slide projector and a bed sheet. And what on earth is a sabu anyway? It's kind of like a cow. Yes. Well, very good. Uh, this could be interesting. Carry on. Sing it with me. Boy is riding with a boo. Boy is riding with a boo. Into town in his canoe. Sabu is rowing and sneezing. I chew moo moo, I chew moo moo, I chew moo moo, I chew moo 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 moo. I chew moo moo, 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 I chew moo moo moo. Hippo chewing on bamboo. Hippo chewing on bamboo. Can see boy and see Sabu. Can see boy and see Sabu. Sabu is rowing and crying. Bahu moo moo, bahu moo moo, bahu moo moo, bahu moo 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 moo. Seen by Mutabu. Seen by Mutabu. Tries to tell the other two. Tries to tell the other two. Mutabu is waving and grunting. Uh oh. Wait! What happens next? Um. Does the hippo see them? Is the poor mute Sabu successful in communicating the imminent danger to the other passengers? Is the boy injured? Why is the sad Sabu sad? Is the canoe wood or aluminum? Oh, look. There's me and Bob at SeaWorld. Oh, wow. Ooh. Forgot about that one. There's me and that bull again. You can't just start a song and leave it hanging like that. You know, I've come to expect a lot more from you. This is quite disappointing. I'm going to have to speak to Bob about this. Oh, look! A Sebu! Sebu! No, wait. That's a water buffalo. No more song about Sebu. Need another verse or two. Audience is standing and leaving. Bye bye, moo, bye bye, moo, bye bye, moo. Nothing to see here. Let's just skip to the end. That's how my great 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 grandmother and my great 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 grandmother. I still don't know how many greats, but they brought together the family. Brought together the family and invented macaroni and cheese. The cheese and macaroni. It's a macaroni and cheese. It's great, 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 
This has been Silly Songs with Ben. Tune in next time to hear Antonio say... It's a great... And now it's time for Obscure Broadway Show Tunes with Larry, the part of the show where Larry comes out and sings an obscure Broadway show tune. Without further ado, from the unknown musical Office Supplies, the heart-rending love song, Where Have All the Staplers Gone? We don't have much time before the big meeting. No. No, we don't. Have you seen the scissors, miss? They're in the bottom drawer. I tried that drawer, but they're there no more. That's odd. I know I thought for sure. Have you seen the masking tape? It's right next to the phone. Oh, that's what I thought, but now it's not. I guess I should have known oh, oh, where, where have all the staplers gone? What happened to our paper clips? The ballpoint pens are gone again They're gone again The, the stick it pads have lost their stick Do you remember when? Rubber bands, we're in their place. They're in the middle drawer. Light bulbs, easy to replace. Yes, there were always more. Reads of paper raining down. Legal pads aplenty. Highlighters in every hue. I remember. Never less than. Oh, where have all the staplers gone? What happened to our paper clips? The ballpoint pens are gone again. We've run out of packing slips. Someday my prints will come. Please replace the toner. Someday we'll find more rocks. Our vanilla folder. Where's the printer cable? Someday we'll find more of it. Adhesive shipping labels. Oh, oh. Where have all the staplers gone? What happened to our paper clips? The ballpoint pens are gone again. Gone again. The Obscure Broadway show tunes with Lev. Tune in for Act Two, Revenge of the Staplers. <laughs> and now it's time for Silly Songs with Larry, the part of the show where Larry comes out and sings a silly song. Joining Larry are Pa Grape and Mr. Lunt, who together make up the infamous gang of scallywags, the pirates who don't do anything. We are the pirates who don't do anything. We just stay home and lie around. And if you ask us to do anything, we'll just tell you we don't do anything. Well, I've never been to Greenland and I've never been to Denver and I've never buried treasure in St. Louis or St. Paul. And I've never been to Moscow and I've never been to Tampa. And Never been to Boston in the pool. Oh, we're the pirates who don't do anything. We just stay home and lie around. And if you ask us to do anything, we'll just tell you. We don't do anything. And I've never.
never hoist the mainstay and I never swab the poop deck and I never bear the starboard cause I never sail at all and I've never walked the gangplank and I've never owned that ferret and I've never been to Boston in the fall cause we're the pirates who don't do anything we just stay home and lie around and if you ask us to do anything we'll just tell you we don't do anything And I've never kicked a chipmunk And I've never gotten head lice And I've never been to Boston in the fall Huh? What are you talking about? What's a rooster and mashed potatoes have to do with being a pirate? Hey, that's right! We're supposed to sing about piratey things! Oh! And who's ever kissed a chipmunk? That's just nonsense! Why even bring it up? Am I right? What do you think? I think you look like Captain Crunch. Huh? No, I don't. Do too. Do not. You're making me hungry. That's it. You're walking the plank. Says who? Says the cabin. I do. Oh, yeah? Aye, aye, Captain Crunch. Hehehehe. <laughs> Yikes! And I never licked a spark plug, and I've never sniffed a stink bug, and I've never painted daisies on a big red rubber ball, and I've never bathed in yogurt, and I don't look good in leggings. You just don't get it. And we've never been to Boston in the fall. Pass the chips. Who's got the remote control? Here it is. Time for a run. Definitely time for walking out. Oh, I don't like this show. Hey, look! I found a quarter. And now it's time for Silly Songs with Larry. The part of the show where Larry comes out and sings a silly song. Our curtain opens as Larry, having just finished his morning bath, is searching for his hairbrush. Having no success, Larry cries out. Oh, where is my hairbrush? Oh, where is my hairbrush? Oh, where, 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 oh, where? Is my hairbrush? Having heard his cry, Pa Grape enters the scene. Shocked and slightly embarrassed at the sight of Larry in a towel, Pa regains his composure and reports. I think I saw a hairbrush back there! Back there is my hairbrush. Back there is my hairbrush. Back there, back there, oh, where, back there, oh, where, oh, where, back there, back there, back there is my hairbrush. Having heard his joyous proclamation, Junior Asparagus enters the scene. Shocked and slightly embarrassed at the sight of Larry in a towel, Junior regains his composure and comments, Why do you need a hairbrush you don't have any hair? Larry is taken aback. The thought had never occurred to him. No hair? What will this mean? What will become of him? What will become of his hairbrush? Larry wonders... No hair for my hairbrush. No hair for my hairbrush. No hair, 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 back there, no hair! For my hairbrush. Having heard his wonderings, Bob the Tomato enters the scene. Shocked and slightly embarrassed at the sight of Larry in a towel, Bob regains his composure and confesses, Larry, that old hairbrush of yours, well, you never use it, you don't really need it, so, well, I'm sorry, I didn't know, but I gave it to the peach, cause he's got hair. Feeling a deep sense of loss, Larry stumbles back and laments, Not fair, oh my hairbrush. Not fair, my poor hairbrush. Not fair, not fair, no hair, not fair, no wear, no hair, not fair, not fair, not fair. My little hairbrush. Having heard his lament, the peach enters the scene. Himself in a towel, both Larry and the peach are shocked and slightly embarrassed at the sight of each other. But recognizing Larry's generosity, the peach is thankful. Thanks for that hairbrush. Yes, good has been done here. The peach exits the scene. Larry smiles, but still feeling an emotional attachment for the hairbrush, calls out, Take care of my hairbrush. Take care, oh my hairbrush. Take care, take care, don't dare not care. Take care, nice hair, no fair. Take care, take care of my hairbrush. 
The end. Broccoli, celery, gotta be.